Hey guys, just wanted to update you with what I've been doing as of late. Um, I decided that it was time to update the way that I um, chill the system down, both machines. I have this chiller right here um, that I've had for a while. And the way that I've been doing it is I had a, a, a cooler um, and basically the cooler uh, had a pump which would go through the chiller, then it would go through the laser and return to the cooler. And that worked, you know, that was working great. Um, but, you know, every once in a while, it would grow stuff in there and you have to clean out the water and blah, blah, blah. And I was tired of flushing the system, so I wanted to change it. And then, also, this is the new machine that I built. And originally, I meant this to be an all-in-one system. Um, I have uh, fans and radiators in the back. And it was uh, cooled that way and it worked great during the uh, winter, excuse me. But it is Florida and it's summer over here, so I had to change it. Um, and this is the solution that I came up with. So um, I keep the same chiller, kept it, and then I threw away the cooler and I got this five gallon reservoir, uh, which is what I'm using. Um, and instead of water, I'm using RV coolant. Uh, so it's tinted red. Um, anyway, so basically the way that I make this happen it's, uh, here's the chiller, excuse the mess and the dirtiness, but um, I have a pump that gets water from here, runs it through here, and then it pushes back in here. So it's just on a constant loop, and that cools that water down. Um, and then I have a pump that deposits back in here that goes to this machine, and then I have another pump that goes to this machine, and here's the return for that. Now, back here, I made this little bracket and here's a pump and that's the pump that gets the water from uh, the chiller back and four and then this is the pump let's see the other side this pump is the one that takes the water and sends it to the laser machine this one over here um, and then I have another pump inside of this machine so basically if I push this button you will see that it will turn that on and water actually starts flowing through here um, and then and this this is a uh, red black Chinese clone I just modified it and added buttons and whatnot you hit the button and you look in here that starts flowing and then this machine here, uh, basically the same thing, but in this one I have uh, a temperature gauge, um, and this will let me know if there's a, if water is flowing. So if I turn it on here, I look over there. It works. So yeah, now I have both machines running off of this five gallon uh, reservoir. I'm gonna update it later on, because it's just prototype that worked so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it for a little bit uh, until I get ideas on what to do next but yeah uh, it's fully working that's what I've been doing thus far I mean I been doing a lot of other stuff but that's that oh yeah and then this it's probably gonna change later on I'm just messing around with ideas all right later